Jorge Lorenzo entered the MotoGP World Championship through the door of Yamaha in 2008 where he met Valentino Rossi. He quickly began to match the Italian, who was the constructor's main reference at the time, and the relationship between them deteriorated due to the rivalry. So in this video, we're going to talk about what Jorge Lorenzo says about Valentino Rossi is insane. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. The Spaniard had a high-profile feud with Valentino Rossi, with the famous wall dividing one side of the Yamaha garage from the other during their first stint as teammates, even after the move to a common tire supplier. Tensions reached a boiling point in the latter stages of the 2015 season, when Rossi accused Lorenzo and compatriot Marc Marquez of a conspiracy to deny him the title. That stance was taken even before the infamous incident between No. 46 and Honda's Marquez at Sepang, after which Lorenzo unsuccessfully appealed to be a party to Rossi's case in the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Rossi was punished for causing Marquez to crash in Sepang, and in the final race, Rossi was behind Marquez and Danny Pedrosa, and unable to claim the second place he needed to win the MotoGP Championship, adding further toxicity to the feud. For better or for worse, I always said what I thought, Lorenzo said. I was authentic because I had to go out and compete. Rossi knew how to be kind to the cameras before going out, while for me, it was something I couldn't and didn't want to do. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. There are different types of riders, those who are nicer and get along well with everyone, and those who are more with the team. I didn't get along very well because I was always working, Lorenzo said about retiring from MotoGP. What I miss most is winning. I believe that one is born competitive because of genetics or that directly he does not like to compete. I'm very competitive. At school, I invented games with my friends to beat them. He explained, You have no other choice. I had to learn when I was 10 years old. Out of seven races, I won six. But when I didn't win and finished third, I didn't even want to go on a podium. At 20, in the wet, I won. But at 30, my head stopped my wrist and did not let me give gas because I saw the danger, Lorenzo said about the notorious incident in Sepang between Rossi and Marquez. I think Marquez understood that Valentino did it on purpose. Rossi had already sat in a press conference and accused Marquez of plotting against him to prevent him from collecting another championship. Rossi would finish second in 2014, 2015 and 2016 seasons and would never add another Premier Class title to his tally of seven. Lorenzo recalls Rossi's accusations and says, When you feel strong and you know you're going to win every race, you don't talk about this kind of stuff. Lorenzo won the MotoGP title in 2010, 2012 and most dramatically 2015. That year, speaking of 2015, I would have easily won the title because I was the fastest, but on race day, something else happened, Lorenzo said. Like the problem with the visor, the rain on Sunday after a strong weekend on the dry in Silverstone. So despite the speed, it became a tough season. Many factors were involved, but for the Rossi Marquez story, the Argentinian GP was crucial. Valentino was responsible for Marquez's crash, but he didn't apologize after the race. Mark didn't like it. I think Rossi's excuses would have changed the course of things. Marquez didn't really want me to win the title. We were not friends. Marini's teammate Marco Berzecchi said, Once there were the Fantastic Four, but there was also more difference between the official bikes and those of the private teams. Without taking anything away from people like Vale, Lorenzo, Danny Pedrosa, Stoner and Marquez, now everything is more level. Berzecchi's view is evidenced by the fact that MotoGP has seen four different champions, representing four different teams in the past four years. As the new season edges closer, the debate will intensify over this season's champion. Banyaya and new teammate Enea Bastianini, in theory, will profit from the best bike, but Yamaha has made intriguing strides at the shakedown test in Sepang, which will delight Quattararo. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video.